Okay, in this part of the video, I've got the end piece here for this already pressed and glued in, and that just goes in there and screws in for the tail. And as a modification on what I did between, uh, was it part two? I ended up turning a piece of uh, Teflon, and this is threaded, to match this right here, the same on the piston filler system. Roughly the same diameter, maybe a little bit longer, but that's okay. I purchased the piston filler system from richardgreenwald.com. So if I take, this is the lower section right here. This would go in like this. And then this would be screwed in on the back, you know, basically like that. And uh, you can see I have a line marked uh, joining the upper and the lower, so I know the correct orientation. And um, anyway, what this is going to do, this is going to screw in here instead. And then this is going to screw in on the other end. This is just a generic example of how that's going to work. And then once that's screwed in, I can make a mandrel to fit the inside of this right here so that I'm not going to have to turn with this piece inside. That way, from the last fiasco in part five where you saw everything come apart on me because of all the stresses put on the section end right here, which I haven't done yet, but I'm going to do that next. So anyway, um, this little makeshift tenon on the inside will make up for this part right here. So that's my little learning curve that I learned from the first thing. And then also, why do I have a, peer, a paint can uh, opener? Well, this paint can opener, you see the end right there where it's split down the middle. I took a Dremel tool and uh, I grooved that out. And then I filed it thin on the backside on the grinder. So on the instructions on this uh, filler system, I don't want to back that off too close. You don't want to take that apart. Um, it's got a groove, and you can see that groove right there. So that is going to fit that right there like that so that you can actually turn and screw that in and get a good solid bite on it. In the instructions, it calls to do that with a screwdriver, but... Uh, I don't have a whole lot of screwdrivers to just tear apart, but I've got a couple of these. So anyway, this is a good improvisation, if you will, on, um, on installing this piece. And we'll show you what that looks like as we go later. Okay, looking at the cap, I've got the first line here. That's 3 eighths of an inch. And that is going to be for my section threads right there on the inside and then two inches is going to make up for the section and the nib so that's going to be the entire length of the drilling portion and then that half inch end right here that you see on top that's going to be where the brass clip goes so i need a, a solid area to drill and screw into that and then i have a little bit of waste on top on the back side from the live center then I'll part that off on the end so we'll drill that out with a half inch and then clean up with the 33 uh, 64 one of the things that I like to do here when I'm tapping the threads on the cap is I put a hose clamp on it because this is only a three-quarter inch acrylic blank sometimes they have a, um, a history of cracking on you but anyway, just a uh, quick little tip there. Okay, so this is uh, the basic uh, body of the pen so far. Uh, I still haven't wet sanded these inside pieces before I can turn the rest of it. This, is, this has been threaded and you can see how that's drilled out for the cap. Um, getting ready to turn those after I wet sand these like I just said but let me point something out 
right here on the section. Uh, I've made this mistake several times and I just can't seem to get a grip on catching myself on this. Uh, I drilled out the center first, 930 seconds, and then once I rounded it out to roughly the outside diameter that I need uh, for the section, um, then I turned this down to 3 eighths of an inch to tap that, or to put the die on that rather. And the last few times I've done that, I've had this bottom or this end piece here just shatter off because there was nothing to support it. So rather than having to stop and make it from scratch again, I turned a small piece of uh, acrylic and then that is a little plug that goes inside there and that's a really tight fit. You can hear that. So now I can uh, put the die on that and cut those threads and then that'll actually save me a headache down the road. So I'll go ahead and do that next. Okay, so this is the section. Just got that shaped and turned. Still need to polish it. And then we'll turn the rest of the body next. Okay, back at the lathe, I modified a mandrel out of olive wood that I had earlier. So on the inside, uh, for that piston, to drive up and down for the ink flow uh, is a 15 64th hole. So that's what this is right here, where it's stepped up. That is for the inside for the section, so that's a 3 8 And the length of the pen, it's uh, pretty close, but remember, I'm gonna have a tenon on the inside connecting the upper and the lower tail section piece. So this, it's going to slide on here once I start to turn it and that kind of threads on it bites onto the wood a little bit so as I start to turn that but I'm going to uh, do the wet sanding first on this end piece and then I'll wet sand the other before I actually join both pieces and start turning them that'll be the next step okay finally got this part here ready to go I pre-dimpled this by itself inside the four jaw chuck so I made sure I was dead center on the back side and then I've got the tenon here in the middle and um, I've got the sides the corners were all relieved so you can see it's uh, just ready to start turning next I'm gonna do that like everything else off camera and I also rounded the cap already and I pre-finished the inside here just like the insides over here uh, wet sanded that with micro mesh so once I get all this turned then I will shape the cap uh, to its final dimensions and wet polish when I polish this okay so this is the turned lower section I still have a little nib here on the end which I'll need on the tailstock for when I turn that to uh, wet sand it still. Here's the rough version of the clip. It's not shaped yet or applied to that and I'll shape that after I get the, uh, the whole thing wet sanded. Okay, so right here, this is the lower, and you can see it's been shaped and polished. And if I unscrew this, there you can see the mechanism for the piston filler system. And on the inside, you can see that that's hollow right there. Now let's push that up. Now you can see it engage all the way. And as I screw that up, You can see it all the way a little bit better right there and there's a void in that area so that uh, it creates the suction now one other thing right here you can't really see it but you have to take my word on this is that there is a 7 16 lip on the inside about 16 of an inch down and that is for this o-ring 
and that sets inside there like that. But you can't get the uh, the section on with that in there, so you have to pry that out on the section. Uh, it's a little bit narrower here at the neck, so the O-ring goes on like that. Then when you screw it in, Uh, you kind of have to work it in a little bit with your fingers and then get it then it will start to seat on the inside you see that how that's going in there and that is really tight switch hands so I can And that's also a Jawo number six. So that is the lower section of the pen. That fits my hand really good. And that is um, tortoise shell. So for the cap, I've got this shaped. I just need to polish this still. And then that'll be the next step. Okay, so the pen is finally done, and you can see the cap on there with the clip. And um, let me unscrew that. I changed the tape right here a little bit. And then you can see the O-ring right there. And then now for the moment of truth, I've got some uh, Waterman ink. Well, let's see how it works. It seems to write, but um, I'm not exactly sure if that's the only the ink that's soaking in the tip still. It doesn't appear that there's any inside from the vacuum that was created. I'd have to take it apart and see, but 